So you're looking to start PC gaming, but you don't want to spend a whole lot of money. Um, and capture cards are relatively expensive. So uh, let's talk about that. New Tech NDI, which stands for Network Display Interface, has a litany of tools that you can use to help you stream without the use of a capture card from one PC to your other PC. And so today, I'm going to take you through how to set all of that up. And if you have any questions outside of what the video actually shows today, my Twitch link is down in the descriptions below, as well as all of my Instagram, Twitter, and obviously you're here on YouTube, so I'm not going to put that link in here. But um, if you have any questions, come over to Twitch. I'll answer you live Tuesday through Saturday, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So let's get over to the gaming desktop and I will show you how to set up new text NDI tools. So here we are back on the streaming PC. And as you can see, we're going to be using OBS open source software to download the plugins for a new text NDI. So click on the download link, go here and find your operating systems exe file. I recommend using the .exe file because it's much easier and it just installs and runs the program for you. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to click cancel. The next program that we're going to be using is actually the NewTek NDI tools. So the NewTek NDI tools, you would download onto the gaming PC. And when you use those tools, you're just going to click download and there will be some information regarding your uh, usage of the product feel free to put in any information you want there download the product onto the gaming PC so here on the gaming PC we're going to go down to our start menu here and we're going to scroll down and find our new tech NDI tools from that tool selection we're going to pick the scan converter the scan converter allows us to transfer the image of our computer screen over to the streaming PC. So on the scan converter, you will see this tool pop up in the drop down menu there. You're going to right click it and configure your capture settings. The region of interest is pops up a small window, such as this, where you can just pick a section of your screen to use. Go back into it and turn off region of interest if you're not looking to capture just a specific part, but your entire window. So your entire desktop now is being transmitted over to your streaming PC. And for audio source, it comes factory set to silence. So I would suggest the use system audio. That is all that needs to be set up for your gaming side PC. Now back over to the streaming PC side. After installing the OBS plugin that we have, you will now find a new menu down at the very bottom called NDI Source. And this NDI Source, if you add it, once you have the uh, scan converter running, you can find that there is in fact a, a NDI Source that will pop up. So you'll select it and you change the source name. You will have your uh, graphics card show up with your desktop name. So this one, we're going to use desktop one. And then we're going to use our bandwidth as the highest. That's going to give you the best quality for new tech NDI. Our sync, we want that to be on source timing. And the source timing allows us from one PC to the other to have as little latency as possible because we are on the same local network. You can use a hardware acceleration if you have hardware that will use that. Uh, for the color range, I suggest partial so that your uh, PC is showing like a real good depth of shadows and a real good uh, variety of colors, the BT709 colors. Um, for latency mode, I have used low latency in the past for a couple of different things. However, it is extremely buggy and will cause it to fail occasionally. I would say stick with normal or the safe mode as they say here and just use your source timing. That is all that should need to be set up for your new tech NDI source. 
and afterward uh, you should be able to play games on your gaming PC and take those games over to your desktop PC or your streaming PC. So if you found this video useful, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications, that way you can know when I'm uploading my very next tutorial on how to set up things in OBS. And who knows, maybe uh, if you leave a comment down below, I can make your video next. Y'all have a great day and be kind to each other.